Hi there, Libra, my lucky Libras. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. I hope that you're having a beautiful day, beautiful start to your day or beautiful end to your day whenever this catches you. Hope people are treating you nice and I hope a lot of blessings are coming your way at this time. We're gonna be doing a love reading for you. Sorry that this is a little bit late. I've been having troubles with my system but I think everything is solved now. And yeah, we're going to get started. I'm going to start with some Oracle for you. We're going to talk about your love life, Libra. All right, I hope you're ready. All right, let's see. Give me some Oracle for my Libras in love and their love life. Give me some cards for my Libras in their love life. Anything significant that needs to come out to start the reading? I'm hearing Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle, okay, let's see, what's going on with my Libras and their love life at this time, anything significant that needs to come out at the beginning of this reading, please allow it to, okay, ooh, bottom of the deck says play, okay, wow, this makes me think that you're dating someone younger, like someone that's not really like your typical age that you would usually go for. Maybe you're used to dating older women, older men, and you're taking your chances with someone younger. I also feel like this person brings a lot of fun into your life. Um, you know, things are not so mundane with this person. I think that you and this person could have started off as friends. All right, so this one says play. And it says, give yourself permission to have fun, raise your vibration by simply experiencing the joys of life. Okay, nice, I like that. All right, let's see what else came out. Ooh, we have support. This one says, you do not have to face everything alone, accept help or support from others. We have air, so you could be dealing with the air sign. Um, that would be a Libra like yourself, an Aquarius or a Gemini, or you could be dealing with someone who has kind of like the same mannerisms as you. You guys just kind of get each other. You guys flow very easily. Someone who is intellectual, open-minded, and communicative. I like that, communicative. Or, you know, great communication. Maybe you didn't have that in the past. Maybe if you are married or in a relationship, you struggled with that in the past. And I feel like communication is... Um, opening up between you and this person. We also have autumn, which is fall season, which we're in now. And this one says a period of harvest and abundance. Okay, nice. Short and sweet, nice. All right, let's see what's going on with your love life at this time. Give me some cards for my Libra. In love, what's going on with their love life at this time, whether they're in a relationship, Situationships, undecided, single as a Pringle, doesn't matter. Allow the messages to come. What's going on with my Libras in love? Give me some cards, please. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Virgo or a Capricorn as well. Pisces is also coming out. Okay. Hmm. Page of Cups. Expect, so, expect someone to express some love to you um, soon, momentarily. I feel like today or very soon, someone's about to express some love to you. They're going to tell you that they miss you. They may tell you that they're sorry. They may say that the, I'm thinking of you. I love you. Okay. Someone's going to express some love to you. Okay. I do see for my feminine Libras, you're not really feeling this person right now. Queen of Swords energy. Um, you could be quite pissed with this person. You could be trying to detach from this person. You may feel like there's bad blood between you. They left a bad taste in your mouth. Okay. But this person is coming towards you and wanting to express something to you. I do feel like you are trying to create distance between you and this person. Um, you kind of you could have got fed up with this person and you're like, okay, I have to create distance to be able to move on. Some of you guys could be traveling right now, solo dolo, or just without this person, or you are just 
putting emotional distance between you and this person. You could feel like the closer this person is to you is the, the how they can hurt you. So you're trying to distance yourself so that you can protect yourself. You have a guard up, okay? All right, first card coming out is the Ten of Wands. I do feel like someone is a bit of a burden towards you. I don't know what why. I don't know why that could be for a number of reasons. It's like dealing with this person, there's always hardships that come when dealing with this person. Okay? I don't know if someone's mental health is not, you know, regulated. Maybe someone is a cheater, a liar, maybe someone comes with family baggage, um friend baggage, um children baggage, you know, baby mama, baby daddy drama. Um or this person and you, it's just very difficult to be on good standings with this person, to just have an easygoing life or connection with this person. It's just very hard with that 10 of wands. We also have the hermit here. So a lot of you guys have decided to isolate yourself or just isolate yourself from this person. Um, you, you also feel like let's not communicate unless it's needed. So definitely if you have children with this person, it's like, let's only communicate about the child if you do not have children with this person or any any family ties to this person, you're just kind of trying to keep communication very settled. What's interesting is that I see communication opening up. So it's almost like now that you're pulling back or now that you're taking time for yourself, someone wants to communicate like all the time. Whereas when you guys were on good terms, it wasn't that much. So it's kind of weird. You know, you could feel like that's pretty phony. We have the hangman here, okay? So hangman is like, you know, not yet ready to take action, not yet ready to make a decision. You could also be beating yourself up. I see with the hangman, you could be feeling like, why don't I just decide to let go? Why don't I just decide to, you know, say good riddance? Why don't I just decide to just really, you know, put the nail in the coffin? And I feel like you're beating yourself up about this. I don't know why, but I'm getting like Libra, you, you hate that you... It's almost like that song by Rihanna and um, Neo is like, I hate that I love you. It's like, I hate that I put up with this crap. I hate that I keep allowing you back in. I hate that I still have a soft spot for you. And then we have the seven of pentacles, which is about patience. So patience brings harvest, right? Wasn't that one of your cards? Where is it? All right, remember, we are in the season of autumn or fall, right? But this one said a period of harvest and abundance. So patience brings good results. So I don't know who needs to hear this. Maybe your person needs to hear this, or maybe you need to hear this. Because if you're, uh, if you feel, if you're beating yourself up for not putting a nail in the coffin or dead, deading a situation, you need to give yourself time to process your emotions, what happened, the situation. You really have to create some distance to maybe see something from a different view hangman energy. And I feel like, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. You take all the time that you need before you feel like you, you want to say something or do something, or if you want to end something, take time to process all of this, you know, internalize it. It doesn't have to be a rush decision. You could have friends or family that are coming to you with their criticism or opinions and saying, if I was you, I would have, I would have ended it with this person a long time ago. If I was you, I would have, you know, been, been, I would have been done with that. But it's like, you're not me, first of all. Let's get that there. You're not me. Okay. Let's understand that first and foremost. And second, you know, people always want to tell you what they would do, but they have never been in your situation. So it's like, just shut the hell up. I hate that. Like, you, you know, people always want to put their two cents in, but it's like, you're not even in my situation to, to even say that. You're, you're speaking from a clear, you know, you have your feet are not in the mud and you're talking about how you would get out of quicksand. Like, no, you wouldn't know until you're in that situation. And, you know, sometimes when people are so judgmental like that, Libra, and you would know this because you are the sign of karma, people will eventually go through what you go through and then they'll really feel it, you know, but we're not wishing that on anyone, but it's the truth. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Actually, let me pull some tea leaf for you. Oh, shoot. I, guys, forgive me. I always forget to bring one deck with me. It's early. <laughs> and I always forget to bring one deck with me. So forgive me. 
All right, so let's see. What is this situation? What's the energy surrounding this situation for my Libras? What's the energy? Hold on, let me write something down, Libra. What's the energy surrounding this connection for Libra? What's the energy surrounding this connection for Libra? Give me some cards. Wow, interesting, okay. So bottom of the deck says snake. And this one says competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman or the other man. All right, so you could that this, this person could fit first of all, the people who are judging you feel like they're in competition with you. You know what I'm saying? I would say stop telling people your business because Libra, you are one of those signs. I always call you lucky Libra because even if you don't feel lucky, I do feel that Libras always get those opportunities of a lifetime. And you know, a lot of people don't experience those type of things. And everybody's not happy for you. So when you're explaining your woes of your relationship, you know, you have to really be careful that who you're confiding in, you know, isn't getting sick pleasure out of your demise, you know? And, you know, it just always feels like people are in competition with you. So it's hard to open up. You also may really feel lonely with that hermit, like who can relate to what I'm going through? Who's going to allow me to um, speak up without the judgment, without casting their, their opinions or views? Who's just going to be a listening ear? And I know that's hard if you don't have that. Um, but I would definitely recommend you to journal, you know, masculine or feminine journal, get yourself a really, you know, journal that resonates with you off of Amazon or going to the craft store, get you a nice pen that is, you know, unique in some way to you and write. And also, if you get bored with just writing, um, do picture journaling, find how you feel through pictures, print them out, paste them in the journal. It's very helpful. Okay. All right. Um, the other two cards that are so interesting that came out, we have Twin Flames. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And it says Yin Yang, Zen, Balance, Union, Duality, Coupling, Complementing Each Other. And then we have soulmates. Isn't that crazy? Twin flame and soulmates. It says soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Okay. Some of you guys do feel like this is like a contract. Like you may have truly felt like, oh, you know, this person's the love of my life. We're meant to be. It's destined. But some of you guys are feeling like, damn, this is a contract from hell. <laughs> like when is this shit over? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's keep going. So yes, um, your tea leaf. All right, give me some tea leaf. Give me about four for my Libras and love. Give me four cards for Libras and love, what they're dealing with at this moment. Okay, perfect. All right, let's see what came out for you, Libra. Ooh, I this one is nice. Look at that moon. All right, it says changes in your life, okay? We also have um, clouds, and this one says temporary problems, okay? So it's not going to last forever. These things don't last forever. We have valley. This one says deep personal strength and peace. And we also have um, staff, and this one says you will be taken care of in difficult times. So again, very lucky, right? Um, you won't suffer. If you're suffering right now, I promise you it's short term. So I do like these for you. It's nice. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the tarot. All right, clarify the 10 of wands for my Libras in love. What is the 10 of wands? Okay, Queen of Swords is coming out again. Ace of Swords, okay. So feminine energy here. There is a Aquarius feminine, Libra feminine, that could be you. 
um, or a um, Gemini feminine here that is in this equation. I do feel like whoever this feminine is, they are expressing their thoughts. They're not really keeping it a secret anymore. They're like, listen, this is how I feel. You know, explaining your grievances or explaining your distaste for a situation, feeling like someone has already has only caused problems in your life and you're vocalizing this. Okay. Now the thing is the four swords on the bottom of the deck, I do feel like it can feel as if whoever you're speaking to, it's going in one ear and out the other, you know, and that can be so annoying. So you're feeling like, okay, I'm trying to communicate my grievances with you. And I feel like you're not even paying attention or you're taking it for granted, or you're just, you're taking me for granted, or you're not really um, internalizing what I'm trying to say to you. Who is she speaking to? Who is she telling this to? The hangman, a Pisces, or someone who is just kind of stuck here, who doesn't make action, who doesn't say much, but that hangman, okay? I do feel like this hangman, okay, this masculine or maybe this feminine that you could be speaking to, the four of pentacles, they really want to hold on to the situation, but they don't want to take action to change it, okay? I feel like change is a problem, like someone's not changing, someone's just stuck in their ways. And it's like, okay, you want to hold on to me, but you don't want to change. Those two things can't exist. Then we have the hermit here. So some of you guys are just saying, okay, since this person's clearly not listening, because I feel like someone feels very spited by that. Like I, I already have to open up how I feel to you. I tell you clear as day, because Ace of Swords is very clear. It's not beating around a bush. It's like very direct. I'm saying everything bluntly, so you get it. And for me to even have to do that and then to see that you're not really taking it in is like a slap to the face. So that's how I feel like someone goes into hermit mode here. They're like, okay, you won't see me for a while. What's the hermit? Five of wands. Yeah. You won't see me for a while because we keep going back and forth and we're not getting anywhere. It also feels like that type of person who will listen to you, like listen to everything that you're saying, and then they'll try to like, they're listening to respond. They're listening for something that you're going to say that they can attack versus just listening with open heart. And that can be very annoying to have to have conversations with those type of people. What else with the hermit? It's almost like you're speaking to a know-it-all and they don't know shit. Okay, let's see. Yep, hermit in reverse as well. I feel like someone, while you're trying to retreat, you're trying to be in peace, okay? When you're trying to really just have some time to yourself to, to just, you know, get out of your emotions, out of your head, someone won't allow you to. And remember what I said about how someone doesn't want to communicate when you're clearly wanting to sit face to face and have that conversation. But as soon as you want to, you know, maybe go ghost or go within, that's when someone wants to argue back and forth. It's like they're just, they won't even allow you to have peace. And they're pulling you out of this hermit mode to react or to say something back. And, you know, you probably have, you know, fell for it. But I my advice would, would be not to fall for it in the future. Like, if this person's still antagonizing you or trying to get a reaction out of you, don't react, you know, as, as hard as that may seem. Because, I you know, again, I'm not in your shoes. So how can I tell you what to do? <laughs> Whoa, full circle moment. Okay, full circle moment. Tell me about this hangman. Tell me about this hangman. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, look. All right, Knight of Cups. This person wants to date you. They still want to like go on dates. They still want to like see you often. They still want to have sex. They still want to, you know, be around you in your energy, but they're not listening to your, what they would think or say or demands, but really your, your grievances, things that have hurt you, things that you feel are you're lacking, your unfulfillment in the relationship and the connection. They're not listening to it, but they're like, okay, but you know, um, I said, I have a reservation for us at eight. It's like, hello, we're not on a good path. We're not in a good space. Okay, so it's just weird. I feel like there's miscommunication or just someone's not interpreting really that you mean business.
10 of cups. This person loves you so much. They do. But they have like this issue where they're very stuck in their ways, hard to change, you know? It's almost like a, I'm getting like a creaking floorboard, you know, like when you walk on those old um, foundations and then like there's a loose floorboard. And every time you, you um, every time you, you step on it, you hear that little, er, 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 and it's so annoying. And then you try to stomp it in or you nail it in the ground, but it's so, it's so stubborn. It keeps lifting back up. It's kind of like that. And it's like, listen, I'm tired of hearing that creaking noise. It's driving me crazy. I'm about to just rip this shit out. It's about to be gone. That's how you're feeling about this person. And it's like they're they're the four pentacles. They're just keep holding on. They're like, you're not about to rip me out. I'm a strong, you know, floorboard. <laughs> I do feel like this person does have their own issues, like everybody does. So they're not special. Um <laughs> But with that Six of Swords, I feel like this person is in transformation. They are letting go of some bad habits, but it's one step at a time. also feel like when people are in this Six of Swords energy, they're bound to fuck up. They're going to make mistakes because it's a learning curve. You know, it's a learning process. So it's like, you know, you could be just tired of those mistakes. It's like, how many times do you have to learn? How many times do I have to tell you? How many times do you have to hurt me till you get it? I do see that this person feels like you're the love of their life, whether that means anything to you or not. They also feel like if you two were to move on from each other, they would not find anyone that they loved as, as, as passionately as they do for you. So seven of pentacles, someone needs time. Okay. Someone needs time to mature. I feel like someone is just like not mature. Okay. Seven of pentacles, like they're not ready. They're not ready. Some of you guys could be wanting more from this person, maybe commitment or let's buy a house or let's have children or I need you to step up, step up as a mother. I need you to step up as a father. And this person is just not ready. You know, I feel like Libra, you you are that sign that I know from my friends and family who are Libras who don't really make excuses. You know, you take accountability. That's something you're really good at. And so it could just be really disturbing when you're dealing with someone who is like a toddler, like that young, that young energy, right? Where it's like, oh, could you not be so hopeless? Like, you know, get it together. It's time to man up. It's time to woman up. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, okay? Hmm. I do feel like this person does try to deliver for you, but they fail. So it's like they come through. It seems like they're on the right path. It seems like things are going to be good this time around. And they fail with that Knight of Swords. King of Pentacles. There's a masculine here, whether that's you, Libra, who's ready to... If this is you who I'm, who's watching masculine Libra... You are looking for a love that is as grounded, reliable, dependable as you with this King of Pentacles, right? And you could be tired of attracting women or men, whoever you're interested in, that do not um, match your energy, match your vibe. It's like, how hard is it to get grounded? How hard is it to try to, you know, live in your stability? How hard is it to, for you to be dependable, reliable? And I feel like you're in this energy of, you know, being that and you're wanting to create something with someone who's on the same page, but you just, this person is just not ready yet. And if you're feminine, you could be really wanting to be patient to see this person through this masculine or feminine, whoever you're interested in, you could be really wanting to be patient to see this person through, but it's like, it's only so much you can take. It's only so much you can take. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to definitely do an extended for this. And extended, we'll be talking about um, this person, their current feelings for you, their next actions, and the possible outcome in this current energy. I'm also going to pull cards on your finances and your career, see what's coming towards you with that. I'm also going to end off that extended with 
um, a general, which basically will let you know something positive, something really good coming your way that you can get really excited for. And then also something bad or perceived as negative coming your way that you want to avoid. Okay, so those extenders have been really good. If you want to follow me there, the link will be in the description box down below. Before we leave, of course, we're going to do your last words. Last words for my Libras. Last words for my Libras dealing with this situation, please. Give me some last words for my Libras dealing with the situation. Bottom of the deck says, damn, you fine, but it's in reverse. So someone that maybe, you, you know, when you first met this person, I feel like you definitely felt like their looks were everything. But I feel like the more that someone hurts you, the less attractive you're becoming to them. All right. Nobody does it better than you, Libra. You already know that. We just said that this person feels that way. They feel like they will never find a love like you, a person like you. Um, and they admire you, but they, unfortunately, they have not been doing right by you. You could be dealing with a May Taurus or a Gemini or something significant could have happened this year in May. Summer also could be very significant for you. Something in the summer could have happened between you and this person. This person could also be a summer baby. Summer could be someone's name. We have June, Gemini, or Cancer here you could be dealing with. June could be very significant. We have I'm single. We have sex could be better. So on you trying to, um, you know, create boundaries with this person and also create emotional distance from this person or detach from this person, you're definitely probably not having sex with them and your sex life could probably suck right now. But your peace of mind is, is going to be good. You know what I'm saying? Kids could be very significant between you and this person. Fantasizing about you. Okay, so this person's been thinking about you a lot. We have I've been hurt before. So I do feel like this person has hurt you before. Or if this is a new person coming in your life, it's kind of like you're vocalizing this because you want them to know their chances are very limited because of your past. Um, you were in my dreams. So someone's been daydreaming about you, fantasizing about you, night dreaming about you, all of the above. Okay, we have drugs here. So something, um, so if someone's mental health is kind of like deteriorating, you know, and they're not taking their medication, you know, that's something that maybe you worry about. Someone also could be taking other drugs and that could also be an issue in the connection. No judgment, by the way, guys. Okay. We have September Virgo or a Libra. So you could be a September Libra. You could be dealing with September Virgo. September could have been a very significant month for you. We have, I have no plans on changing. That's self-explanatory. This person could be intimidated by you, okay? Since you're such a strong soul or because they've been doing wrong, you know what I'm saying? Ride or die is so interesting because this person definitely does feel like you're ride or die. You feel like that for them, but also it's like, damn, where is this car going? Because if you're driving me off a cliff, you need to take, you need to let me out at the next stop, you know? Spoiled Brad is here, okay? So this person could definitely feel like you're spoiled, okay? Like, you know, they do a lot for you. You could feel like this person's spoiled because they get away with so much. And last but not least, we have sexy haircut or hairstyle. So if you are getting your hair done, soon or most recently you got your hair done it looks really really sexy on you okay and everybody's looking everybody is looking libra okay 
With that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and head on to the extended. The link is in the description box down below. As always, definitely check out my website for your extended. And also, if you do want a personal reading from me, I would love to read for you. Make sure you guys are liking this video. Comment down below your situation. I would love to hear what you have to say. And also subscribe so you don't miss out on your next Libra reading coming out very soon and any live stream that I do from time to time. I love you guys, Libra, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful week. All right. Bye-bye.